One of the easiest ways to start making money online as soon as humanly possible is by selling eBooks. eBooks are essentially digital products with words, pictures, diagrams, and most importantly, value. They almost work like a miniature course, something that you can sell to your audience or anyone on the internet who thinks that they might be valuable. But the question is, how do we create these eBooks? How can we get them in front of people? And most importantly, how can we make sales with them? In this video, I'm gonna be breaking down the step-by-step -step tutorial on how to build an eBook ebook, host it on a website, and make sales. So without further ado, let's get into it. Now, one of the first things you're going to want to do is get a domain for your website. So that way you can host your ebook on that website. To get started with all of this, you guys are going to want to head over to Hostinger, which is going to be linked down in the description below. When you guys use our link, you guys will get up to 75% off all web hosting that you do through them. And this is a really great limited time deal. So make sure you guys take advantage of it before time runs out. You'll be taken to a page that looks like this. And as you can see here, it's $2.99 a month plus three months of free access to all of hosting your services and to get started all you have to do is claim this deal with this big red button right here once you click that you'll then go down to here where you can pick the different tiers we really recommend going with the yearly tiers because that's one of the best ways to save a lot of money on the front end and of course as well each of these tiers are very affordable and they have prices for all different types of budgets now once you've selected your tier you'll then be brought to a page that looks like this where you can choose the different pay periods this is just basically how much you're going to be paying and then of course enter in all of your basic account information details they cover all different types of payment options for credit cards, PayPal, Google Pay, Alipay, and CoinGate. And over here is the right side where you basically get a breakdown of everything that you're purchasing and how much everything is gonna cost. And just enter in most of your personal information, a little bit more for your credit card, and you should be good to go. Just a quick note, if you guys wanna get even more of a discount, make sure to use the discount code at my first website at checkout to get even more of a discount. Now, once you've done all of that, you'll be taken to a page that should look somewhat similar to this. Now, keep in mind that your page will look a little bit different if you're a first time user on Hostinger and I'll explain those differences right now. Basically, ours says manage here on the hosting tab. Yours will likely say setup in a little yellow button. And I will mention too that because of the link down in the description below, you guys will have a free domain that you can utilize, meaning that you can literally get started hosting a website for free as soon as possible. With those little yellow setup buttons, it says manage on my screen, but it will be yellow on yours. All you have to do is hit one of those buttons. You'll then be taken to a page where you'll enter in a little bit of information information about the website that you're creating and of course fill out all those details and once you do that you'll then be brought to the next step once you guys have finished that process you then can head over to this page right here where it says websites and then you can pick from any of these various hosting options that you have now again we already have most of our hosting options filled up so please keep that in mind and up here in the top right we want to go ahead and add a new website we'll click this button and we'll then have an option to either do wordpress hosting or website builder migrate website or see all options for this tutorial I'm going to hit the see all options button. And then as you can see, we can now select a hosting plan. Our hosting plan, again, we have a few different hosting plans. You should have a hosting plan that you just set up. You'll go ahead and choose that hosting plan that you just set up. For our specific case, we're gonna choose any one of these hosting plans that we already have going. Once I've done that, I'll then hit the select plan button. And then I'll be taken to the start of the website builder itself. What I wanna do here is I want to go ahead and create or migrate a website. I wanna create a website. I'll then hit the next button button and then we can either choose to create a website with AI or with the Hostinger website builder uh, and the Hostinger website builder does have AI functionality and we're actually going to be using that in this video so make sure you guys utilize that as well and for this one I'm going to go ahead and click the Hostinger website builder and hit continue I'll then be asked to put in my domain and I'm just going to simply enter in my domain name and then I can move to the next step it's now going to initialize our setup and we can use the website AI builder on Hostinger to start building our first website to do this you'll hit start creating and you'll enter in a few different e details and information about your specific website. I can enter in a bunch of random stuff here. This doesn't really matter, but for your specific page or website, make sure to enter in the proper stuff. Uh, yep, that looks all good to me. And I'll just say that this is a marketing website, something like that. And we'll go ahead and do create a website. As you can see, guys, we now have a fully functioning website purely by AI and Hostinger's AI options. And as you can see, it looks not too bad, right? Not too bad for the type of things that 
we're going to be doing. They've already integrated the store option, which is really nice. Now that we have a fully functioning website that we can start hosting our content on, we can head on over to the place where we're going to design our ebook. Now there's a ton of different design software that you can utilize in creating your ebook, but for this video, we're going to go ahead and use Canva. Once again, head down to the link down in the description below so you guys can follow along and get signed up with our link down there. Once you guys click that link, you'll be taken to a page that looks like this, where you can pick the different plans that you want to choose when getting started with Canva. Now you can get started with Canva for absolutely free, but for some of the features and tutorials that I'm going to be doing in this video, I'd recommend getting started with Canva Pro, which is only $14.99 per month. All you have to do is hit either get started or start free trial. Once you hit that, you'll be asked to enter in a few pieces of information about you and you'll be ready to go. Once you're fully set up, you should be brought to a page that looks like this. This is Canva's homepage and this is where you can get started with designing your ebook. The first thing we're going to want to do is head over to the search bar right here and type in the word ebook and then hit enter. Once you type this word in, you'll then be taken to the template page where you can choose from a variety of different templates that you can make use of. For this specific instance, I'm going to pick any of these. It doesn't matter too much because they all are customizable to your desire. So I'm just going to go with this money spark template and hit customize this template. I'm now in the editor page where I can fully customize and edit this ebook however I want it to look. I can go up here and double click in the money smart category and type in the name of my ebook. I'll just title it ebook. I can then go down here and edit this and say this is the ebook description. As you can see, Canva is extraordinarily user friendly and very, very easy to edit and use with. You can literally edit stuff on the fly and there's tons of drag and drop features that you can make use of. As you can see, there's still a lot of pictures on here that I might want to edit. So I can hit click the edit photo option at the top here and I can add a bunch of different photos or different elements that I might find useful. Now that's for the cover. And again, you can design the cover however you'd like. We want to get into the actual point of this ebook, which is of course the value that you're providing. I simply click the add a page option down here and now we have a new page that we can start editing. To edit this page, let's say I don't want it to be this off-white color. Let's say I want it to be white or maybe black. I can simply click this little square up here and change the color entirely. Let's say now I want to start adding text to this page, which is the whole point because it's an ebook. I can head over here to the option that says text. Now I can add a bunch of different headings, subheadings, different text boxes, and a host of other things. For this instance, I'm going to click this purple button that says add text box, and I'm going to type whatever I want. Let's say I want to add a body text. I can then add the body text and of course, so on and so forth. I then, if I want to duplicate this page to edit off the previous, I then can go on here and type in anything else that I want with no problems whatsoever. And that's basically it. It's a super simple formula that you can just drag and drop and add all these features in. Canva is super intuitive and very easy to use. It's not too hard to figure out. You can add different images, layers, options. You can change the design and different options on pages with very little issue. Now let's say this looks like a good ebook and I think I'm ready to export it. I can go up here to the top right where it says share and click that. Then I can choose all the different options, presets and download options that I want. For this instance, I'm going to download the ebook and I'm going to want it as either a PNG or a PDF. I'll probably want it as a PDF so that way you can scroll through it like you would a book. I'll probably just do PDF standard for this instance and then I'll go ahead and hit download. As you can see, it's starting to download and export here and then it will go to my Google downloads where it'll download right here. But of course, for this specific video and this specific ebook tutorial, we're actually not going to be selling the ebook. We're going to be utilizing it as a lead magnet to build a email subscriber list because that's kind of what the best thing and the best way to really utilize ebooks and getting ebooks on the internet. That's really one of the best ways to utilize them. So we're going to go up here to the right where it says edit site. And now we're taken into Hostinger's website editor. Super intuitive, lots of drag and drop features. You can move stuff around at will and change up anything that you want to change. First thing we're going to want to do, we're going to change this really weird AI generated image and we'll go ahead into this part and replace that image. All we have to do now is head over to the upload files option and then we can select the cover of our e book and we can put that in right there. I'll hit the select button and now we have the cover of the ebook on this little portion right here. I can expand it. I can make it smaller. I can make it bigger. Anything that makes it look better and more appropriate for the size of the page. What we're going to do next is actually set up a way for people to actually get the ebook in the first place. We're going to get rid of this button. We're not going to need that. We're going to go up to the top left here where it says add element and hit the add element button. We now have a couple of different options. We're going to go down here and do embed code and drag that over underneath this part. 
part right here. Do not get scared about this, guys. This is very, very easy. You're just copy and pasting a line of code that's generated for you. You don't have to write code yourself, so don't worry. Now that we have that here, we're actually gonna head over to ConvertKit, and this is how we're going to start building our email list with our ebook. If you guys are curious about getting started with ConvertKit, hit the link down in the description below, and you guys can use our link to get started with them as soon as possible. Once we've done that, we're simply gonna hit the Get Started for Free button. It's gonna ask us a couple of quick questions about our name, our email address, and make a password, and then you'll do the initial setup process that you would normally with ConvertKit. Once you've done that, you'll then be taken to a very simple page that looks like this, and we're gonna start creating our email form to actually capture those email addresses for people that want the ebook in the first place. So to create this email form, I'm gonna go up to the Grow option up here, hit Landing Pages and Forms, and click that. Once I've done that, I have a couple that I've already created here, but I'm gonna create a brand new one with this Create New option. Now that I'm here, I'm gonna create a form. For this instance, I'm going to do the inline form right here. And then I'm gonna click any of these. Any of these will do. I'm gonna just click the simplest one, the Claire form. As you can see, we'll be taken to a page that looks like this. Now that we're on this page, we're going to simply do a couple of settings. We're gonna head over to the settings option here, head down to incentive. As you can see here, we have it currently set to URL, but we want them to download a file when they obviously put their email address in so we can do choose a file. Now that we have that, we can then go ahead and choose the file that we want to add, which will be our ebook. And again, you're gonna wanna compress the pages of your ebook all into one singular PDF file. Keep that in mind. But for now, we're going to hit the open button. Now, as you can see, they will get the PNG when they obviously put their email into this form. We're then going to hit the save button. And now we have a fully functioning email address capture form. Now, in order to put that HTML code onto our own website, we're gonna head up here to the top where it says publish, hit that, head over to the HTML option. And this is the code that we will be copying. We're gonna hit the copy button. And then we're gonna head back over to our Hostinger website, go into the embed code option, delete this and add our custom code and hit the embed code button. Now that we've done that, we have a fully functioning email address portion that we can capture emails in for them to get our ebook that we're offering them and start to build our email list to perform email marketing. This is such an incredibly effective tool, guys, at getting more leads and selling to more people on a consistent basis. And of course, building a list of leads, always a helpful thing for whatever business you end up trying to run. Hopefully you found this video useful. If you guys have any questions, make sure to comment them down below. Make sure to check out all of the links that we utilized in this video. And of course, they are affiliate links and they do support the channel when you guys sign up with them. So thank you in advance. If you guys like these types of videos, make sure to check out any of our other content on this channel. We cover everything that has to do with creating your first website and making money from it all at the same time. Hopefully these videos help. Make sure to like the video, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next one.